Hi guys and welcome back to another video on the WOW Embossing YouTube channel. It is uh, quite frankly a shocked Erica here on August 1st. I mean, how did that happen? I I kind of still and stuck in the whole more April um, month. I kind of feel like the whole of May, June and July just kind of got skipped over. Anyone else? Well, uh, seeing as it is, apparently, the 1st of uh, August, it means that we have a new theme in our um, Facebook challenge group. And this month we are going to focus on masculine cards, which for me right away means kind of navy, dark blue cards with gold, maybe silver, uh, copper is a nice one as well. So I have got two panels of midnight cardstock. And this is the herringbone background stamp from Concord the Ninth, and I, I've got it all set up in my Misty here. So I'm gonna be stamping one, and then I'm gonna be using the two powders that I showed you earlier, and one is copper and one is gold. Uh, these two I use all the time. So we are gonna start with the copper, I think, and we're gonna get a nice coverage here. What I've done is, because this is like scrap pieces of paper, I've made the pieces slightly longer so that I got a little something to um, hold on to. And we're gonna tap off the excess and make sure we got everything covered and a little bit more there. Yeah, okay, nice, nice. And then we're gonna set that aside after admiring it a little bit. And then we're gonna do the same with the second panel. And you can see here that I placed my cardstock slightly away from the edge to make sure that I got the pattern covering the whole thing from like right to left and up to down, I guess you could say. Uh, and on my scrap piece of paper here that's going to collect all the stray pieces, I say all of them, but the majority of them anyway. Uh, so we're going to go in with the rich gold or gold rich, I think it's called actually. And instead of like completely covering the panel, I put up a little bit at the top and then I just flip the panel up a little bit and let it kind of slide down the piece of paper. And uh, it just saves you a little bit of hassle with cleaning up instead of emptying out the entire pot. And then we're going to use the heat tool, of course, because I'm not going to be melting this in the heat, even though we are suffering. Well, I say suffering. We have aircon, but... It is so, so hot here in Spain at the moment. It is almost ridiculous, but I digress. So we are melting the powder here with the heat tool and we're gonna go up and down kind of in grids, I guess you could say, just to kind of make sure that the entire pattern and all the powder is nice and melted and smooth. And doesn't that just look fantastic? I mean, already it's like, oh, missed a little bit. Um, yeah, magic. Darn it, I did say I was going to stop using that word, but how can I when it is pure magic? I mean, look at it. It is a powder and then you put heat on it and it melts and it turns into this awesomeness. Yeah, I, I'm going to reserve the right to continue to use the word magic because that's basically what it is. But yeah, we are going to speed this up a little bit here. So basically, we're going to go vroom here. And I probably would have gone a lot faster if I'd used the, the second setting, but I did for whatever reason use the, uh, the lower setting. So that was a bit crazy of me, but thank goodness we can speed things up in the video editing program, right? So once that is finished, we are going to just take a little second and admire these two. And then we're going to hop into the little bits and pieces that we're going to do to finish off this card. And I am going to make these um, dad coffee cards. So I've cut out some letters using a um, alphabet die cut set from, this is from Altenew. And then I've cut them out out of white and then I'm going to use the same matching embossing powders yet again. And I'm basing, basing? No, dabbing. I'm dabbing the letters and then I'm plopping them right into the jar um, because conveniently they fit. How perfect is that, right? Uh, and then um, I'm not going all the way up, just a little bit, just to kind of get that nice contrast uh, form. And then here, we're actually going to slow things down. And um, I did have the idea that I was going to show you like the difference between the settings. So this is on the first uh, or the lowest setting. Uh, but I did manage to kind of film it with the heat gun right on top of the letter. So you don't really see it that much. But 
just watch once I flick it over. Uh, it does go quite a lot quicker to get the whole thing melted. So if you're in a hurry, do it. Uh, if you're using, if you're heating something like vellum or really thin paper where you don't want a lot of warping, you use the lower setting. But the high setting is definitely one to use um, if you're doing like large um, backgrounds or if you're basically just in a hurry and want to kind of get on with it. So to kind of bring in the coffee sentiment as well, um, I have cut, die cut two coffee cups out and then I'm going to use a little bits and pieces here. This is another Concord and Night set and I um, just stamped up the little sort of coffee art stuff with ground espresso, of course. And then because I do love a nice cup with a pattern, I'm going to add a pattern to this and I'm using the Midnight Ink. So this is the coordinating ink color to the cardstock. And I'm using this teeny tiny, I say teeny tiny, but it's actually called itty bitty turnabout something. I will link everything down below because right now I'm kind of like, I think it's this, I don't think it's that, but anyway, so I'm I've stamped them up first with the blue ink and then I'm going to be using the embossing pad and to stamp them up again. And this is going to be slightly off uh, centered. So this is going to have blue spots and then we're going to have gold spots and copper spots. So there's one and we're going to do the second one. So you can see I'm kind of lining it up to make sure that it doesn't overlap too much. Um, and I probably what I should have done is used the heat tool just a little bit on the lower setting to kind of try the blue ink before I started dabbing on the uh, embossing ink because the blue spots did pick up some of the uh, embossing powder as well. And um, because it's got the ink at the top there as well, it did sort of, I did catch a few stray little bits and pieces, but that's an easy job to clean up with like an old paintbrush like I'm doing here. Um, obviously you want to make sure that you don't cover uh, or touch the stuff that where you want it because then you're going to have to do it all over again. But anyway, you get the point, right? Yeah. So here we're going to quickly heat this up as well and set that. And then it's a simple case of, although I didn't show you that I stamped up a couple of sentiments, but I did. So I have got the background, my words, and my little sentiment strip here. So I have basically the same bits and pieces, just a slightly different color scheme with the gold and the copper. And then we're gonna put these things on slightly different, just so that they're not like super duper exact minus the color. But that is basically it. So, I mean, the whole idea is, you know, you heat the emboss a nice background, whatever pattern you have, and die cut a couple of letters out, and you can use like hubby or dad, or brother, whatever, um, boyfriend, husband, whichever you should use for your boo. And um, use some fun sentiments to kind of bring in some little elements here and there, and you're done. I mean, heat embossing just kind of takes everything up a notch, doesn't it? I'm going to use the M word again. It is magic. Right. I'm going to stop now. Uh, but thank you so much for stopping by today. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more fabulous tutorials.